is Neil Amundsen. We're here in Santa Cruz at my home. Um, I've lived here for about two years. And yeah, this is where I come back to between adventures. Um, as, as fun as some of the missions we do are, this is the place that keeps me, keeps me together, keeps me sane, keeps me stoked. And yeah, I feel really lucky to be here. It's, it's uh, about a mile and a half from the ocean where we are right now. Uh, you can ride your bike everywhere around town, rarely have to drive, and everything you need is so close. And it's a neat, really neat community with a lot of fun things to do in the outdoors. So yeah, we're here just trying to capture some of that magic of, of what is home, you know, what is home for each person, what is home for me, and um, realize that even though we put out some, some pretty, uh, you know, intense videos, that's just like 1% of the time. The other 99% of the time I'm here, you know, reading books, making food, hanging out with friends, doing yoga, riding my bike, pretty normal things like a lot of other people do too. So we wanted to share a little bit of that. I think a lot of us, you know, people wired uh, to do some of these sports that live a very physical life. We're doing all these things as it helps us feel good and feel connected to the, you know, our environment and other people. Um, but that's one thing I'm working on is as I, as I get older, I want to learn how to bring that same feeling in without having to, having to do the activity, you know, or, or do more mild activities. You know, in the past, I used to have to, to base jump to be stoked. And then that's, you know, a really intense, one of the most intense sensations I've ever had. And, um, you know, and, and that now I've been able to, to kind of throw skydiving in that category. I can get a really deep appreciation for skydiving, um, which is less dangerous, which is great. You can take less risk and still feel that same really good feeling. And now it's even, I can go to the beach, you know, find a spot where the wind's blowing up the, the sand dunes and just go, go soar around, which is, you know, really safe and it's beautiful. I mean, the, the dunes are awesome. The ocean's right there. The birds are doing the same thing you are. And it's just kind of bringing bringing that feeling that you used I used to have to get from doing some really dangerous things from things that are less dangerous. phase I'm in now I feel like you know it's always a transition I'm in a big transition right now and um, moving forward it's like I realize the things I've done in the past that I may not do now it's like man that was that was part of that path and I'm I feel lucky that I was able to come out of that in one piece um, with my health and with my life it's not about you know ride the biggest wave or jump the biggest cliff or fly the closest to that tree it's really about like be active appreciate your life um, stay connected with your friends like you know because sometimes it's, they don't realize they show the, the jump or the that wave or that ride but it's honestly the feeling afterwards that they do it they don't do it for that exact moment they're in the air they do it for the moment afterwards and sometimes it's when you're with your friends or when you land you're on the ground you can take that feeling and skip the whole part where you almost killed yourself you know there's magic mixed in all around so it's, it's hard to it's hard to say one way or another but it just you know, for me, it's realizing that like being alive is a gift, and and I don't want to waste that gift chasing something that is so fleeting. You know, and these these sensations I get from the sports are amazing, but I know like man, I'm surrounded by amazing people all the time. You know, from all ages and you know, like your neighbors, your family, and you know if I can tap into that to to that like rich amount of you know life, then I know that would change some of my behaviors and make me maybe more appreciative of the people that are around me. Mm -hmm.